Welcome to the Medalist Golf Club in Jupiter, Florida, home course of Greg Norman, the world's number one golfer, who has won more tournaments in the last five years than any other professional golfer. Today, Greg Norman will introduce you to his secret of playing better golf. It's called Greg Norman's Secret, a training device that embodies and will teach you the most important element in the proper swing. I've been playing professional golf for 20 years now, and during that 20-year period of time, I've seen dozens and dozens of golf aids. So why all of a sudden do I pick the secret? Well, let me tell you why. Because a secret actually shows you the secret to playing good shots. And what the secret does is it maintains this angle, the perfect position for the golf club to return squared impact. What you're about to see is Greg explaining how the secret can help to improve your chipping. Trust your swing. Trust your grip. The secret angle will do the rest. Practice with the secret on and off, and you will develop the right muscle memory to make that better chip shot. Hey, buddy, how many times have we seen members of amateurs come up to a little chip shot like this? They get the club head passing the left knee before the hands pass. Right hand beats the left back Right the hand ball. beats the left back to the ball. What happens, the blade's coming up, you meet in the middle of the ball, and it goes flying out of the grip. Or vice versa, they get in there a little bit too early, they get too steep off the takeaway, come in there too quick, and they hit behind the ball, and they lay the side on I mean, chipping is just like a putt, really, isn't it? It's, it's like a tiny swing. little tiny swing. And it's the same, same theory. What the secret's going to do is going to maintain that angle as you take the club head back. It's going to keep it square going back, a little rotation. You know, again, it's the impact. It keeps your angle square and then through. So all it is now is up to you, given the club head the speed, to hit it the right distance. So my address position here, I've got a nice little angle set in here. Yes, I have the secret on, but I've already got that angle anyway. So what I'm going to do is when I take that cup, I'm back, you see there's no movement in my hands, the secret's staying the same. I'm coming through, boom, there's my impact. Club head comes through, straight through to the target. So let's hit a few shots here to show how you can, and not only that, you can adjust the flight of your shot. Whatever you want, you can move that ball back in your stance a little bit, you can punch it in there a little lower, put more spin on it, or you can move it up your stance a little bit and hit a little high soft shot. So now, I mean, all I'm doing now is just going to imagine where I want the ball to land, about two to three feet on the green, and have a real soft grip, easy grip, just a nice gentle backswing. Swing with a slope. That's all it is. And again, you notice there's no divot, because the club has maintained its angle all the way through, and it's met the ground, nice, smooth, sweeping action through and up. Get the feel of the shot you want to hit in your mind. And again, we've used this word many times, you got to trust your swing. Trust the secret. Trust it working for you. That's a much better one. Another little uh, way of practicing for the amateur, I think, would be great with the secret. You know, they may not feel comfortable with the club in their hand early on. Pick up the ball like this with the secret on, right? Put it in the palm of their hand like this, and just pretend you're over the ball. Put your club down or whatever it is, you have no club. Pretend you have dressed the ball. Put your ball in your hand here and just do it this way, just using your arm action, which is all you're doing anyway. You're keeping your angle because the secret's on, and use your arm angle, and then just throw the ball and let it release up and onto the hill. And that way, you'll get the feel of what that angle is supposed to be all the time. Now, you can do that 10, 15, 20 times. I used to do that when I was a kid for hundreds of times. No flipping, <laughs> no early release. Nothing, and if you want the higher you want to throw the ball, the later you release it. The same with the chip. The higher you want to hit it, the more you move it up in the stance, and the later you want that club head to meet the ball. So it's and the same deal here. Every time your angle stays the same. You know, just pop it up there on the green. The angle that the secret creates, whether right-handed or left-handed, from takeaway to the downswing, will ensure that the club head will always be square at impact. The secret maintains the proper wrist angle, especially at the top of the swing, all through your swing, returning the club face to the ball, square at impact. Trust your grip.
trust your swing. Trust the secret. And this is gonna, I, I would think this is gonna feel very awkward for you for about four or five shots. Because now your wrist is gonna have to be in a set position. One thing's for sure, it does feel awkward. Unbelievable. You're good at the top, now trust it coming down. Just let it happen. Good. That's, see, that's as far as you need to take the club back. Okay. Trust it. Another good little tip, too, that this thing's going to help you is when you swing a golf club, just reach back and try and shake hands with somebody. With my that's left right. hand? With my your right hand. hand. Okay. Okay, you got to shake hands. Now, see, that's perfect. That's where right. you want. That's where you want the club to be. Whereas? And from there, whereas you're back here somewhere. Okay. And you just want to just go, okay, I want to shake hands. Okay. And that's what the secret's going to do. It's going to put you in that position. Okay, okay you're going to reach back and shake hands with me. Okay. Imagine my hand's right here. You're not going to hit me. That away. There you perfect. go. With the secret on, you're going to keep that angle there, and now you come through, and that club face is going to stay square. So you got to pretend like you hit three quarter shots all the time. Okay. And believe me, you're really not. That ball right. actually would go further because it's got a better flight. Sure. And even though you're swinging out of, feel like you're swinging out of the okay. corner. That was real good. I felt better. What do you suggest? Leaving it out for a few. I think you should hit about 20 shots with it, then take it off for a few, and then put it back on and take it off again. Because that's the way you're going to find out what feels good and what feels bad. And the more you do it that way, the more you'll be able to repeat getting that angle right for you. This really does feel good. Well, the more you use it, the more you'll be able to trust it. And then that'll keep your angles through your swing. That was good there. Very good. You gotta trust your swing. Trust the secret. Trust it working for you. That's right where you're aiming. A word of advice from Greg Norman. Start with the shorter clubs and work up to the driver. Greg has been demonstrating that every type of golf shot, including the sand shot, must maintain the secret angle throughout the swing because the club face must be square at impact when the club face returns to the ball at the impact point. Some sand shots are a high, soft lob. Other bunker shots require a low running type of shot. No matter how open or square your club face is at address, the secret will teach you how to maintain the proper wrist angle to execute the shot properly. And I personally think the bunker shot's the easiest shot in the game. Do you know what the deal is with most amateurs do? They lose their angle in a bunker shot. Right. When you lose your angle in the bunker shot, they get too steep on it, and they come down and chunk it. Right? Yeah, get real diggy. Yeah. And then if they don't do that, they get real scared on it, and they come up there, lose their angle, the club head passes, their left knee, and all of a sudden they hit it in the middle of the ball, and it goes flying right into the face of that bunker. All right, I think I got the line now, but remember with this, you've got to keep the angle. You've got to let that club head come through and keep it level all the way through here. Keep your angle right there. Club face is open all the way through. Now, the sand wedge is a little different because it has a flange on it. And they use the flange, or we use the flange, to come in here and let the club bounce off the sand. And then the club slips in underneath. The secret to it is always keep that club head moving through. Be aggressive at the ball. And if you keep being aggressive, you're going to maintain your angles because the secret's going to keep you there and up and at it. 17 tall. We're going to go up and down to make a, take a one shot lead going to 18. Here we go. Uh, Secret's on. I think I got the line right. I hit it. Go! Perfect. 
But you see how that club slipped through there, buddy? It didn't yeah. have a real big divot, you know, going down and the clubbing, club head stops. The club head just slid underneath the ball, nice and easy, not a deep divot. And I'm using the flange of the club and I kept my angle all the way through because that's what the secret does for you. What you have seen is Greg demonstrating a sand shot with the secret on. Remember, try 15 to 20 shots with it on and 15 to 20 shots with the secret off. It will help you develop the proper feel for the sand. As Greg will point out, the driver is more difficult to master because the shaft is the longest of the clubs. At full extension, you will notice how the secret has put your hands in the perfect pro-type position. Even at the top of the swing and all through the swing, the secret maintains the proper wrist angle, allowing you to return to the impact point with exactly the same angle you had at address. This will ensure a more perfect impact, maximum power, a straighter shot, and better fairway position. Let's show, the, let's, let's, let's show and explain what else too, because we shake hands. Look at that, we got the angle. We don't come in here and shake hands like this, or come in here and shake hands like you get the big old hook, you know, coming this way, hey buddy, how you doing, like this, right? You come in here and you shake hands. Right. So when you're swinging a golf club, you want to go back here and shake hands with someone. When you get back there, you can see that angle is already preset. It's incredible how that just puts you in that position it's so with simple. the secret on. It's so simple. So you go back there, pretend you're shaking hands with somebody back there. Now you put your club in your hand right here. Now that is a perfect position where you want the golf club to be. We go up and you're there. You go up, you rotate your shoulders, you're in a position up there at the top, then you come down and hit it. All right, let's see if Check I can get out. the full air ball. Okay, I think you can do it. I got to turn this ball just a little bit here, okay? Again, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to try and hit this ball hard. I want to get this ball in play. So now I focus on my spot, and I trust my secret, and take the club head back. But it's amazing. You've got to go and swing with ease. You know, just don't try and overpower the shot. Most guys, when they get there, buddy, what you're saying, they're right. there like that, right? They exactly. Say, they got more power right there than they do at the ball. Cast an efficient run. They get exactly. out here and they want to throw from the top like this. If they want to do that, then they might as well be hitting the ball this way. That's right. The ball's not up there, it's down there. That's exactly right. So again, swing with ease, control your power, control Beautiful everything. Angle and and keep the right. angle that the secret has given you. Maintain your flexibility through the ball, nice knee flex, and your angle will stay there. 10 inches, impact, 10 inches, and away you go. Don't practice with it all the time. You've got to get used to whether hit a couple shots with it, maybe 20 or 10 shots, and then hit three or four without it. And then go back and hit 10 with it, and then three or four without it. Because that'll teach you your muscle memory to be able to get, okay, and eventually you'll think you've got it on when you don't have it on. And because you don't hit a lot of balls, this would probably be a lot of balls for you to hit, <laughs> right? But for you to develop that muscle memory, you might need a little bit of an aid. That's why the secret will come in to help you just by hitting. And it would, you wouldn't want to hit hundreds and hundreds of balls with on. You want to hit 20, 25 balls, then take it off, go hit another 15, 20, then put it back on so you get the feel. So now you're teaching your muscles the reaction to have it getting into play. Great. <laughs> In recapping, take the driver with the secret on to the address position. Go to the full extension. See in a mirror the angle the secret has created. As you continue to turn in your swing, the secret angle becomes more and more apparent. Once the secret has put you in the proper hand grip position at the top, you are now able to start the downswing, feeling the proper angle for a more powerful swing and a more solid contact with the ball. Putting is just a mini golf swing. 
and nowhere does the secret improve your game better than with the putter. Half of the shots in a round of golf are putting, and here is where the strokes can come off your score fast, because the secret teaches you the muscle memory needed to keep your wrist angle in a perfect position at the point of impact. Each putt will travel straighter, more true, leaving you with just the concerns of how hard to hit the ball and what is the best spot to hit to. When I first came out on the tour, long time ago, 20 years ago, I used to stand very upright, you know, with my feet together. Before the time, I used to go out and in like this and gave yeah. that loop, you know. I never really had a, a good release. And about in the end of 89, 90, I decided to get my stance a little bit wider to get myself into a position where my elbows are inside my body and try to give myself the mini golf swing. When I'm putting nice and consistently and, and solid, my heel stays down to the ground, through like that. By putting the secret on your wrist, when you're practicing your putting, you'll be able to look at that roll. Of all the parts of the aspects of the game for me, it's going to help me the most when I'm working with my putting and chipping. Because all those mini swings in there, you only have to twitch just a little bit from forearm pressure. In a full swing, it doesn't, you don't really notice it because you're getting full right. exertion. But on a delicate swing where you're just taking it straight back, straight through, any change of muscle movement or twitch in your fingers is going to change the putter thing. Right. And that's when disaster spell. That ball rolled like it's going down a 10 pin bowling alley. Right? Well, you can't have it on all the time. If you have it on all the time, you're going to get uh, you know, too conscious of it. Exactly. Right? If you take it off, exactly. you know, like you're saying, take it off after every four or five or ten putts, you're going to understand what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Look at that, man. That is really on the ground. That baby falls in there like... I felt that one going back. Club was perfect. By using the secret, by putting that on, that develops their muscle memory. So they don't have to think too much. The muscle's going to take over, and boom, you have it. Most putts are missed because you change the putter face angle during the swing, either in the takeaway or the follow through. With the secret on, just rotate back and through the swing. Trust the secret. Take 20 putts with the secret on and 20 with the secret off you will automatically start to set up with the perfect wrist-to-hand position. Greg Norman has been demonstrating his secret to a better game of golf for every player, pro or amateur. In a nutshell, Greg feels that the most important part of the swing is the hand and wrist position on the club throughout the swing. Most professional golfers have that position locked in their muscle memory forever. But for the non-professional golfer, Creating this perfect angle of the wrist is the most overlooked part of the game. The secret was developed to help teach anyone the proper angle. It is truly a remarkable teaching device that can help you to that next level of playing golf. Practice with it on the course, at home with a club in front of the mirror, or anywhere. Start with the shorter club and work up to the driver. Because putting is half the game, your putting practice should also be half of your practice time. Then watch your scores come down. A word of advice from Greg Norman. Remember, practice makes perfect. That's Greg Norman's secret, the most fundamentally sound trading aid I've ever seen. If it wasn't, I wouldn't put my name to it.